Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. I'll be going over a bunch of stuff I got from the Alphalie Aura collection. I think a lot of that stuff is gonna be in the Black Friday sale too, which is amazing. I wanna start out with the outfit that I was looking forward to the most, the flare leggings and cashmere, strappy bra and the shrug. It's so cute. Yes, I still have all the tags on because I have to exchange the size. Aside from that though, it's such a cute outfit. Let me go into sizing. I'll start off with the shrug. I love shrugs, I love balloons. Arrows, so I was really excited when I saw that Alphalete was gonna come out with their own. Sometimes with boleros and shrugs, I like to order a size up just in case because I have a really wide back. I didn't want to get a small and have it be too small. I'm used to ordering a lot of things in a medium from Alphalete, so I was like, I'll just get a medium. Yeah, it's too big. There's a lot of extra material here. It like, I know when you move, it's obviously gonna move too, but this is like too much. And even here at the back, like usually with things like this, it's like tight for me in that area. You can see there like the material coming up. I also feel like I have a lot of extra material around the sleeves. Like it's just an amount that I can't get away with, like that I know is gonna bother me here. Like there's just, there's so much material. So I feel like in these, they're actually true to size. I should have just stuck to a small. That's what I usually get in their long sleeve crops, like in the alpha crop top. I was just afraid the Aura stuff was all gonna fit small because a lot of the stuff says to size up like in the bras but it is really cute. It's very soft. It doesn't like cut into me here which I love and it goes so well with the strappy bra and the flare leggings. It also has a little armholes. It says Alphalete up there at the back but like you can't even see it. I do wish that they would have come out with boleros that didn't have this front piece. For example, ones I have from Crop Shop Boutique, I have a bunch. They're all like style that goes around your shoulders but not like on your chest and I just find that style like less restrictive too it doesn't go all the way around it literally just sits on your arms and your shoulders this is the style I like more than like the style across your chest so I was hoping Alphalete was gonna come out with Laros like that oh I almost forgot to show you the difference between the buff bunny shrug and the Alphalete shrug. Oh, I already see a difference with this one. The Buff Bunny one seems to come down a little bit lower. I think the Alphalete one sits higher on my chest. I feel like the Alphalete one is kind of like here. Like there's more space between the bandeau and the shrug. This one's also a medium and it fits me tighter. So with the Buff Bunny shrug, I would recommend sizing up. This is a medium and it's like perfectly fitted. I love it. Like see how there isn't really like a ton of extra material like there is with the Alphalete one. This is how I wish the Alphalete one fit me. Okay, there's also more material at the back because the Alphalete one, it's higher. So if you want a Bolero with more coverage, the Buff Bunny one has more coverage at the front and at the back. Moving on to the flares. I was really, really excited about these. I've been loving flares lately. So I got them in black and cashmere and I did the same thing with these. I'm so used to sizing up with Alphalete that I thought I have to get a medium. I think these are a little bit too big on me. They're so cute, but I don't like, I don't like where the flare starts. Like the flare starts like here, like at the top of your knee. How do I show you this? I just feel like the cut of these makes me look so short. I swear the other flares I have, the flare starts like mid calf and goes down because these start like closer to the knee it just like shortens my legs it also could be because i have a size too big i need to get a small and compare this has a lot of like extra material at the front here in this area There's also a lot of material on the butt but that's kind of nice because then you can like shove it between the cheeks and then it's like more flattering on your butt I do feel like i would have liked these better if flare started like closer to your ankle. I like how the buff bunny flares fit me better. These are the buff bunny ones. I already feel like my legs look longer. See how they're like still tight here and they don't start to get loose until like here. So like halfway down my calf. Whereas in the Alphalete ones, I feel like they started to get loose like up here. Other than that, I love the way they feel. Like they're so soft, they're so comfortable. And I do find the back flattering. I love the seam here and the V here. I love how 
how the waistband is. Everything else about them I like. I actually size up to a medium in Amplify, but in these, I don't think you need to size up at all. Stick to your usual size because they're not compressive. Nowhere near as compressive as Amplify, okay? Like these are just not comparable to Amplify. Definitely really good lounge pants. In case you did want to wear them to the gym though, I will do a squat test. I feel like they're squat proof. Like they're a dark enough color and they're thick enough. But let's just see. I think they are. <laughs> I mean, I can't see from here, but like, I'm pretty sure they are. Moving on to the strappy bra. These bras are so cute. I love how they look. I love how small they are here. I like the cut, how it like kind of goes up in the middle. The back is beautiful. Like, look how it just accentuates your back. This bra has option to adjust the straps, but the Crop Shop Boutique one in like the same kind of style doesn't have the adjustable strap. You can't adjust it by that much. Like it only gives you a little bit, but honestly, it's better than nothing I love that you can adjust the strap. I wish that all the bras I have that are like this had adjustable straps I have a ton of crop shop boutique bras. Okay, so I'm ready to compare these bras to all my crop shop boutique ones That being said while I do love how it looks, I don't find it super functional because I wore it to the gym and I will insert a clip here. I'm testing the strappy bra at the gym today. I haven't even done that much and already I'm noticing like the top of it, like here, it just like moves and I have to keep like pulling it up. Bottom isn't lifting, which is what I thought would be the problem. But when I bend over, like if I do a handstand, my nip a little bit, like it's just like a tiny bit out. So I don't know about this bra. <laughs> Update. I literally have to change the bra. I brought one just in case. I always do that when I'm testing bras. The nips, they just, they're coming out. <laughs> Keep in mind though that I do do calisthenics. So every time I go to the gym, I do handstands. So my bras really have to be like, handstand approved like can't do anything upside down with this bra it didn't lift up for me though at the bottom here like i didn't have that issue as you can see like so between the two of these the alpha elite one is cuter like in terms of how it looks i like how it looks more than my crop shop boutique one but in terms of functionality the crop shop boutique one might be better coverage because there's just more material at the front for regular workout nothing that's like super high intensity like you're not jumping around you're not going upside down i think you're totally fine like if you're just doing a leg day or an upper body day not doing handstands i think this bra is totally fine so this is the crop shop boutique lexi bra just so you can see a direct comparison of the two this is much bigger there's like more extra material here like if i rolled up the extra material it would look more like the alpha one <laughs> i actually like it better when the material is rolled on the crop shop boutique one the straps also feel shorter like they feel much tighter i think the alpha one is just a little more comfortable in that area like for the strap but here if you want more coverage definitely get the crop shop boutique one okay the next bra i want to talk about is the alpha sculpt bra it's so nice i i love this bra the material is just it feels very very nice on your skin it's super soft sits in the perfect area on my back i also just love the cut of the front i love where the straps sit just the shape of this bra i just i find it really really nice it also just looks really cute with the cashmere color and this is a size medium this bra would be most comparable to the bra from crop shop boutique called isla i have the isla bra in like eight colors i I love these a bra. I have a brown one that would probably look cute with the cashmere leggings. And I think I like the sculpt one better. I cannot believe I'm saying that. I really did not think I would. The shape of it, the material, just the way it sits on my body. I love it. I love the sculpt bra. Just so you can see the difference, this is the Isla bra. See how with this one, it kind of like goes straight up. With this one, there's more like space here. It also has less material around your boobs. I know the Alphalete ones are already low coverage, but if you wanted more coverage than the Crop Shop Boutique Isla, the Alphalete Sculpt one has more coverage. The back is pretty similar. I honestly think it's just like a little bit thinner here. Okay, so let's compare. Isla is definitely smaller. It just goes lower here in the middle, and then there's like less coverage at the sides. It's probably why the Sculpt one is more comfortable on me, because the straps are longer. For the back, I think the Alphalete Sculpt one is like 
a little bit bigger. The Isla bra has more of like a cotton feel. The Sculpt bra has more of like a spandex, like silky soft feel. The only thing I like better about the Isla is how it like comes up here in the middle, similar to the Alphalete strappy bra. It's like the Sculpt one. I don't think it does that as much like when you actually have it on. It's like more straight across. I don't think I'll have any like nip slips with this. There's a good amount of material there if you have bigger boobs though. I don't think any of these bras will work. They're really meant for like A and B cups, like nothing too much bigger than that because there's just like not a lot of material here at the front, which is obviously unfortunate. Like they should have more of a range. They should have like these bras in bigger sizes or with more material. For me, I like that they're minimal, but I totally understand being frustrated that all of these bras in this collection like just don't work for bigger chests. I just want to see how the shrug looks with the bra. Oh, this is so cute. I like how this looks better than it did with the strappy bra. This is so nice. Even like how it looks from the back. Like I just feel like it goes together. Also, I think this bra is actually like big lat friendly because it's not like super constrictive. It doesn't feel very tight there. I feel like if I would have got a small, it might be. If you have a wider back, if you have bigger shoulder, bigger lats, I would definitely size up. Okay, on to the bandeau. I was pleasantly surprised with these okay i was fully ready to get this bandeau and have it just completely falling off of me but because i have like a wide back i actually feel like that contributes to this like staying up i just have a wider torso so i think that that's why maybe this bandeau is like not rolling down on me my boobs are also just small so i would love to do a back day in this i just feel so free oh my god it doesn't lift or anything it doesn't move around lift my arms it's not moving oh oh hold on but when I lift my arms actually this comes forward a little bit okay I move around more it does kind of lift there but it's not like falling down it just looks so cute I don't usually like bandos but this one just doesn't cut into me at all and somehow stays up I also find that a lot of bandos usually have like a really thick band at the back like they'll go like down your back and I appreciate how this one is very very thin very minimal I feel like that's actually rare unfortunately I don't have the crop shop boutique one to compare it to i definitely wouldn't size up like i did with the sculpt bra and the strappy bra because it's a bandeau i feel like you need it to be like as tight as possible would i do handstands in this absolutely not would i do a low intensity lower body day or upper body day yes a back day back and buys this bra would be incredible and then with the shrug oh my god i need to try this with the shrug where's the shrug what did i just do what did I just do? What did <laughs> I put it on backwards? Hold on. Okay, I need to actually put it over my head. That's what. Stop. Oh my god, this is so cute. I'm in love. I love this. Oh my god. Okay, I do feel the bandeau is moving a little bit. I feel like it was lower from when I first put it on. I feel like it moved like slightly. Okay, if you have smaller boobs, if you can get your hands on this bra like on Black Friday, because I think that they're going to be in like the Black Friday thing. I think that's November 24th. I'm pretty sure that's the day I saw. Get the bandeau. Get the bandeau and get the shrug. Because this combo, any leggings, honestly, it doesn't have to be the flare. It can be like the regular leggings, but just like in the the same color like all three things i think this is like the winning outfit for me this and the sculpt bra it has like this little thing here like a little adhesive kind of thing that i feel like they meant for it to like stick to you so it wouldn't roll down it's really not it's really doing nothing like it's not doing it's not doing anything the only reason this is staying up is because my boobs are small so yeah i wouldn't rely on that to keep this up. There is a band here at the bottom though, which I appreciate. I feel like I had something else and I can't remember what it is now. Oh, the t-shirt, the t-shirt. I also got this pump cover because I have the same one in white. It is my favorite thing ever. I wear this three, four times a week, okay? As many times as possible before I have to wash it. I love, love, love this shirt so much. It's huge. I get it in extra large. It's super comfy, super oversized. It goes with everything because the more is in like this rainbow like all different colors. So it doesn't matter what color I wear, it goes with everything. Except my really dark colors. So that's why I wanted to get the same one, but in black, so I could pair it with my black outfits, brown, neutrals. Get to worry less about my tan coming off on that. <laughs> As you can see, it's very oversized. It's very big. It goes way past my butt, which I love. I love pairing this shirt with shorts. I love how long the sleeves are. It goes like all the way to your forearm. It's just the perfect oversized t-shirt, okay? 
okay? And then this shirt with like any bolero or shrug underneath is just perfect for winter. I'll put on a sports bra, a bolero, and then throw an oversized shirt on, usually the white one. And it just keeps me warm until I'm like 10 minutes into my workout and then I take off the long sleeve underneath. But yeah, that is it for my try on. Hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions about sizing, feel free to DM me on Instagram or just leave it in the comments. I'm gonna put my measurements in the description. Like I said, if there's one outfit I would get from the Aura Collection, nothing else, it would be the flares, bandeau, and the shrug, or if the bandeau is not your thing, the sculpt bra. Okay, thank you so much for watching, bye.